to my channel. I'm Siobhan and today I'm going to give you a tour of my bookcase. On the top of the shelf, I usually keep my larger pocketbooks because they're too large for the cubes. I have the Celine on one side and I have my Neverfull on the other side. In addition to my bags, I usually switch up my photos. I sometimes have pictures of my family, which I do, but they're turned down currently. I also use picture frames and I use various cardstock just to change up the quotes and also for decor. This side is a, this is an organizer from CJ Network. It holds pens, clips, and cards. So the first row going across, I have my Matisse. I usually keep it in here on top of these magazines. These are from Bloomingdale's. Um, this is Louis Vuitton catalog, um, Neiman Marcus, and I believe that the other one is from Nordstrom. Sometimes I switch them depending on the season and the colors, but I thought this was just a really good look here. Um, here I have this, these are cake stands. These are just extra things that I had that I didn't have any use for them, so I added them inside of the shelf to fill it up, but also not to overpower the space because it's small, it fits inside, and you still see um, space around it, so it will not give you a very full. This is a storage container that I got from a friend. I keep my Erin Condren stickers, markers, pens inside of this. It's tucked away so you can't really see all the clutter that's inside of it. Sometimes it gets pretty full. I have a few things outside of it right now on my desk so that's not shown. Um, I'm in the process of changing the knobs. It did come with a clear knob. I did not like it. I tried this knob. I didn't like it so I'm going to have my husband cut this off and I'm going to actually glue it on or we can drill it through but he'll still have to cut the back of it off. So cute little drawer inside the cube great for storage and it does not show your clutter. So that's my first tip. Boxes, cubes, anything that closes where you cannot see it from the outside is perfect for your small trinkets and things that if you were to leave them outside would look really clutterful. Clutterful, is that, if that's even a word. Uh, here I have a gold, rose gold basket from Target. Just has a few roses. On the second shelf, I have my Erin Condren planner on this wire hanging rack. It snaps in the back of the shelf so it is very secure. This is also from Ikea along with the bookcase. If I didn't mention where I got the bookcase from, it's from Ikea. Underneath that, because there is so much room, I was able to fit a box right below it. I have two of them. They're both from Marshalls and they're Kate Spade. They're about $8 each. Marshalls is a good is a good store along with home goods and TJ Maxx to find cute decor items for any for anywhere in your home. So these boxes are very very important because they are really filled with everything that I can't leave out because everything will look it will look like a mess. So let's see what's in here. So the first box holds all of my nail items. I have nail polish remover, nail polishes, my Kiss nails that I absolutely love. If you are into press-on nails, I highly suggest Kiss. I'm not being paid to say that. I just really love them. You can see on my nails, I'm currently wearing two separate um, packaging because I actually ran out, so I had to throw a different one in it. So these are very good. I highly suggest that. So that holds all of my nail products. And the second one holds all of my inserts, cardstock, dividers. It is very stuffed. I'm not going to open the entire box, but just to show you and give you an idea, it's filled with lots of things. So boxes are a, is definitely our friend when it comes to storing, organizing, because it literally hides all your clutter. It makes everything appear more neat and uniform. This box holds all of my products that I have on my store. These are some... Leftovers. This cube is actually my favorite because it is, I love pink, as you can see, and this is my favorite pouch. This is the Louis Vuitton Daily Pouch. I will make a video on this. I do have a 60 second video on my Instagram if you want to go check that out. Um, underneath it, I have a couple notebooks, and this is a planner. These are from Bandu. You can use notebook as decor items as well. 
I may or may not use them, but I love the way they look and it fit with it fit inside of this cube and kind of matched everything that I have going on. So this shelf is actually the divider for the bottom cubes. We removed it so I could put my Cricut on the bottom. So what we did here was he installed these, don't know what the name of those things are, but if you were to put hooks underneath it, you can actually add shelves to the cubes. What I did in a previous setup was I actually had about one to maybe five shelves where I store my craft papers. If you have a lot of craft papers, you can actually create shelves inside of the cube to keep your craft paper nice and organized. So this row is mainly for decor bag purposes. I keep all my Louis Vuitton boxes. Most of them are here. The larger ones are inside of my closet that holds um, clothes items and other things. But the smaller one, I decided to make a tower to keep it keep the decor aesthetic you know look that I'm going for um, I have my speedy which is my one of my favorite bags this is an another wire um, rose gold basket from I believe this is from home goods or Target so this have my pouches and let's see and a wallet I may find another solution for these items I just I'm not 100% happy with the way it looks, but it works for now. On the other side are additional boxes, and in the back is another box, and I'm going to show you what's inside of that box. Like I said before, boxes are our friend when it comes to decor and hiding all the unsightly things we don't want to leave out. This box holds by a label maker and all the cartridges. This is in the back. It's not really shown, but it is tucked away in the back. It's neat and it's organized. So this bottom shelf is actually two cubes in one. It stores my Cricut. It also stores my cutters. It also stores my laminated machine, my punch boards. And this is a, a, this is a mint machine for foiling. Definitely need a solution for the items in the back, but if you're unless you're on your knees like I am right now you're not you're not seeing all of that junk in the back but I did have them in the closet I currently took everything out of the closet because we're getting the closet renovated so I can have additional storage but for the time being they will remain behind this Cricut machine so box one and box two this box belongs to my daughter I keep all her planner items in this box all of her planners that she's gone through her memory book and um, her sticker books and things like that. So because these cubes are so big, I'm able to use the back of them as storage. So underneath it, I have two memory books, one for my son and one for my daughter. And I store them back there because they're really large and I don't have another space to store them right now. I know where it is and whenever I need to find it, to, ac to access it, I can just get it from this the This second box is basically ribbons, hot glue, lots of junk inside. You put a cover on it, put it in a cute box, and look. See. So remember, get boxes. All right, so that's everything on my bookcase. So I'm going to give you three steps. I also wrote a blog post about decluttering, and I'm going to put that in the description below. Please read that. It has lots of um, helpful tips on how to get you organized and to get your bookcase organized, too. So step number one is to declutter. Get rid of everything that you don't need. Sometimes I feel like we get so many things. We need this, we need that, but we really don't need them. Get the, keep the things that you actually use on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis. But if it's, if it's sitting in the bag that you purchased months ago, if it's stuff that you have for years, there's no sense of keeping it. Clutter creates chaos. So once you get rid of your clutter, Look at all the items that you have remaining. And with those items that's left over, figure out a way to organize them. Your second step is get in boxes. Boxes are your friend. They will hide your remaining clutter that's kind of unsightly if you were to just put them on your shelf. I like to get matching boxes. I like to get boxes of a particular color pattern. If you want to have a particular theme or an, a look 
try to get boxes in that same color family. That goes for your decor items as well. Organize things as neat as possible. Put like items in each boxes. This way it's easy to find and you're not shuffling through millions of boxes in order to find what you're looking for. The thing is make sure you do not stuff the cubes. I know we may have a lot of things, but if you stuff them, then it's everything will look kind of jumbled up and it's not gonna be as free and airy as you would like. So make sure there's space around the objects that you do store. Try to limit the cubes to just a few pieces of items at a time. Make shelves inside of the cubes like I did or get the hanging wire basket from Ikea. This way it, you can maximize the space in the cube. If you have books, you can use the books on the bottom and you can add items on top of it. Make sure you follow those steps. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any um, video ideas that you would like to see, please comment below and I'll definitely add those to my link. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. See you soon.